What's going on guys welcome to purgatory and today we got the patch notes for the splatoon 3 update and it's releasing tonight so i plan to have a stream going on for this dlc who knows we'll see but we got the patch notes for today and there's a bit of interesting stuff in here so far especially with the the season and catalog changes but what you can see here is changes to dlc added support for side order so this is for people that have expansion pass it's coming out tonight um to anybody that's curious it should be around like 7 p.m 8 p.m central standard time all i know is that it's in the evening so definitely give it some time but on march 1st we'll be getting a bunch of new stuff actually we got a new catalog i don't even think they showed the catalog yet they probably already know something that we're probably not gonna like something that kind of caught us all by surprise was 153 pieces of gear are added to the store product lineup a lot of people are theorizing that this is the splatoon 2 stuff and i do agree with them i'm pretty sure that's what this is going to be there's no way they just next one here is unfortunately is confirmed that we are getting only one new stage for more multiplayer and that is marlin airport i'm a little surprised i'll be honest i'm surprised they couldn't do a remake or anything but it's whatever but we got the two new main weapons uh, nine new sets of existing weapons which we will go over two more the other two here in a second a new samurai stage which is according to their twitter is supposed to be the last one and then 20 new table turf battle cards which is a lot and all those cards should be up on screen here pretty soon but changes to gear added new ways to adjust gear this applies to certain glass Glasses, visors, hoodies, sweaters, layered t-shirts, and shoes with socks. Wow. Select any supported gear from the equip screen and press the Y button to adjust it. So they still have a lot of stuff. They're making up for the for the lack of one new stage, which I I can appreciate at least. Made it possible to adjust gear for certain caps as well as t-shirts that previously did not adjust gear, such as spot fest tees. Ooh. You can now make long spot fest tees. That's cool. They added the new songs that we heard. There's two new songs, new main weapons, the Dazzler Dooleys. FF. Normal shots from these duelies have a long flight range. The dodge roll moves a long distance, but in exchange, it can only be performed once at a time. When shooting after a dodge roll, the flight range of shots decreases, but the rate of fire increases dramatically. Okay, so it's pretty much like the S Blast, but as a duely. Recycled Brella 24 Mark 1. This Brella can deal high amounts of damage to if even distant opponents due to the low scatter of its shots. Oh, wow. The Canopy has a low durability, but it can launch quickly and has a short recovery time. So it's going to have very little spread, which means hitting people with it it's going to be very consistent so we got new and returning weapons here are some of the kits so we, we covered most of these the ones that we didn't cover are the custom x washer and the custom e-leader obviously we got squid beak and kraken royale for these two because they're pretty much the same weapon and then custom x washer has splash wall and triple splash down and that's pretty much it for the kits that we have going on today we got some we got some balance changes not much but big swig roller reduced the amount of ink consumed for horizontal swings and vertical swings by approximately 10 percent Mini Splatwing, Ink Splatter is now more likely to fall around the player's feet. Gluga Duelies increase the radius of the Ink Splatter at the point of impact by approximately 10%. Reflex 450 increase the amount of ink consumed for up to the up to the first charge level by approximately 17%. Points required for some special weapons have been changed. Okay, so 52 Gal got nerfed and then in, um, in Perry Splat Duelies already. These already got nerfed. I added dedicated poses to the Repetankopolis emote for when the player is equipping duelies, brellas, stringers, or spatanas. Oh, nice. They actually put in new animations for the emote. Uh, so we got a lot of changes to Splatfest, it seems. Players can now use new fizz bangs in Splatfest. You can have up to seven fizz bangs. Okay. When landing on the stage from the spawner and when a player defeats an opponent, the number of fizz bangs acquired at these times increases as the time remaining in the battle gets slower. Hmm. Okay. The points earned by each division during the final result have been adjusted in the second place team in the each division will now will also now earn points much much bigger values 90 70 120 120 180 just a lot of bigger score and i love that matchmaking method for splatfest battle open has been adjusted to improve matchmaking and finish efficiency for groups of two players okay changes to salmon run added items that can be exchanged for fish scales specifications for some special weapons have changed oh added items that okay so they had added more items i'm pretty sure we saw those already reef slider got buffed increase the damage dealt by the charge attack from 400 to 500 okay increase the effective radius of the area of the charge attack by approximately 50 percent oh my gosh reef slider might be nuts Ooh, i'm excited to give that a try i wonder if this will apply after tonight's update that would be cool everybody's going to be playing side order tonight so i don't even think anybody any of us are going to be trying to test a reef slider patch Lowered the frequency of animation updates for distant salmonids when there is a large total number of salmonids on the stage in order to reduce the frequency of game slowdown so they're optimizing actually they're actually trying to you know increase the frame rate that 
drops very frequently, only really specifically on Salmon Run. I never really see it too much in multiplayer. Okay, so now they changed this to Table Turf Battle. Added more characters to, who can be invited to Table Turf Battle Dojo. Nice. Players must download the Cider or DLC and progress the story. To invite new characters, oh, you have to play, okay, so those new characters that are going to be in the DLC. Added seven stages that can be selected for battles against other players. We saw this earlier. Added a random feature which will move the cursor to a random stage when selecting a stage for battle against other players. You can use it by pressing Y. Nice. Change the stage used by Spike in Table Battle, Table Turf Battle Dojo. Increase the number of decks players can save from 16 to 32. That's nice. Yeah, definitely makes more definitely makes sense to increase that because the fact that we got seven stages. And the stages in this can very much depend on the deck that you have. I feel like if you have to make dedicated decks just for stages to be to be good on separate stages. So changes to Splatnet 3. Ooh, we got a new journey. Added a side order stats feature. Nice. Players will be able to support Journey 5 after completing Journeys 1 through 4. Journey 5 can only be supported with points. Or, okay. Added Journey 5 to Wondercrust. So when Fresh Season... So it seems like when Fresh Season comes out, that's when we can actually do it. Nice. They're doing more with Wondercrust, which is fantastic. If you care about this, I'll, I'll go ahead and just kind of keep it there for a second. So you can pause the video there, but changes to tournament manager. I'm not really one to know too much about this, um, but this update focuses on support for the side order DLC as well as features additions. This update focuses on the support for the side order DLC as well as feature additions, Blackfest changes and tweaks to multiplayer for fresh season 2024, which releases in March. For multiplayer, we've added new main weapons. Da -da 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 -da. Our next update is planned for the middle of fresh season 2024 and should focus on balance adjustments. So we're probably gonna get a new map overhaul. So there's something in the patch notes here that i thought found this kind of funny here we go something that the players have caught almost immediately was the fact that the neo splatana stamper had the nouveau brand on it i'm pretty sure or whatever that brand was called i can't remember right now but people were like that's not the neo splatana stamper that's the splatana stamper nouveau well look what they changed <laughs> they changed it it took them a while. To be fair, it's just a name. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just the name of a weapon. That's it. But I just found it really funny that they confirmed that it's actually Nouveau, not Neo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be focusing a lot on side order. I did post a thing on the community page saying that there will be no spoilers in my videos. We're going to be showing gameplay and whatnot, but we're not going to be showing spoilers for like story spoilers for at least a week or two. But with that being said, I I don't know if I'm going to I'll, I'll try my best to stream tonight. But if anything, go ahead and check out my Twitch link to that is in the description below. I'd love to see you guys out just chat or whatever whatever you want to do but anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like if you did make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and what are you looking forward to the most with this entire patch could be side order could be the one new stage could be the new gear i'm excited for the reef slider buff and salmon run but side order of course has all my attention right now so anyways thank you guys so much again for watching i love you all have an absolutely fantastic day